Today on the channel, we're making chicken wings, but not just any chicken wing. These guys are smoky and they're deep fried and they're freaking delicious. Let's get in. What's up barbecue fans? Welcome back to the patio. My name's Jake, you're watching Roman Cook. Today on the channel, we're doing some wings, but we're doing a twist, something I actually have not done before with the Yoder. Before we can get into that, we gotta prep our wings. Now these are just plain Jane grocery store. Uh, in this case, they're called Wingettes. They're from Produce, which is a national brand, I believe, or probably at least on the East Coast. So nothing fancy. And they're called Wingettes because they've already got that little tip cut off the end and they've already been separated. So save me a little bit of time. Oh, that's a big, that's a big drum. Now these are going to be some huge wings, bigger than I expected. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. I wonder if they're injected with anything. <laughs> Anyhow, this is actually for nine wings. It was almost two pounds, just to give you an idea of the size of them. Now we're not gonna do anything special with these guys. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna use some season salt. Season salt is great on chicken. It's got a nice little flavor. Give them a quick dusting. They're a little bit moist from being inside the package. So this will stick to them, no problem. That's it. We're going to keep it super, super simple today. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to throw these on the yoder. You might notice the yoder's not even started yet. We have put some Bear Mountain hickory pellets in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit our start button there. And then we're going to turn this down to 200. So what we're doing here is we're gonna let our yoder go through our startup sequence. When that happens, we get a whole bunch of smoke, and then as it comes up to 200 degrees, we even get more smoke. Now, I did this recently, about a month ago, in my zero to 400 wing video. Those wings were pretty phenomenal. This is something that's been going around for a while in the Rectech forums that I stumbled across. I'd never heard of it. I tried it out for the first time, and it turned out some amazing wings. So we're gonna do that sequence. We've got a little bit of smoke, so we're gonna let that start to roll now. Now, this is not the second time that I've started with a cold pit. I've been working on this for a little while, probably six or eight months. You've probably noticed in a couple brisket videos, maybe a pork butt video, and off camera, I've been playing with doing cold starts to see what the impact is because I have a video out there called the 11 tips to maximize your smoke on a pellet grill and I'm adding some improvements to it and a little teaser, that is one of them because I've noticed some good impact without any negative impact at all. So what we're gonna do now is we are running at 200. I didn't dry my wings, I didn't do anything special. All we did was some seasoned salt because we're going to smoke these for about an hour and then we'll focus on getting them crispy after that. So it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. Our yoder is in shutdown mode. Our wings are looking good. Skin is definitely a little rubbery. Uh, I could get in the bone now, there we go. Uh, we are about 135, 134 on the big ones. Um, these guys, depending on where you get them, are still in the center here. 160 to 158, 156. So they're not done. Right? That's what we're looking for. What we're gonna do, obviously my next step is deep frying, uh, but we've got a couple things before that. We're gonna throw these in some flour. We just want a very, very light coating of flour here. So what we're doing here is there's some flour in here. We're gonna give this a very quick shake. And we're just using a little bit of moisture that's left. There's obviously not much moisture left on them for being smoked. And I want a very, very light coating. I'm gonna shake it off in the bag and on the rack, right? Like it's barely there. Just trying to beat some of that flour off. We don't want a lot. Now, I've just plugged in the deep fryer here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna stick these in the freezer. We've got about 20, 25 minutes before this preheats. I'm gonna cool these right down. They're not cooked yet, but they're gonna take a little bit of time to get brown and crispy. So I wanna drop the temperature so I've got extra time in the fryer to get the crunch and the color we're looking for. Quick change of scenery. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden we had 90% chance of rain for the next hour and uh, oil and water don't mix. 
So I decided to bring everything in. These guys have been in the freezer for 20 minutes. So they feel cold, not frozen or anything like that. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna put these in the basket. My old's at 375. Let's put these guys in the fryer. So we're gonna let this go until we get the color that we want. We're not necessarily worried about temperature because when you deep fry chicken, you can take it up higher and you still get some nice juicy chicken. But I really wanna get some crispiness and some color on there. So I'll let you know how long it takes. So good thing we're inside, it is now pouring. So good call on my part. Let's go look at our wings. It's been eight minutes, they're ready to pull off. As you can see, they've got some good color on them. They are all 195 or higher, so we're good there. We'll let them drain for a minute. What we'll do here is we'll put them on this guy right here to let them cool off. So as you can see, they look pretty good. They are definitely crunchy. You can feel the skin, probably hear that. Ooh, hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these cool down just for a second, probably two minutes or so. Then I'm gonna put them in some sauce and we'll try them out. Been a couple of minutes. These are cooled down nicely. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shake them in a sauce. Uh, this is actually a wholesale sauce. that My dad just brought me out of Canada. It's actually from uh, the bar where I love their wings back home. And they were kind enough to show me what sauce they use. So I'm gonna use that for these wings. Uh, but whatever your favorite sauce is, throw that on there. And this is just a mild, more of a tangy barbecue sauce, but it is friggin' delicious. Unfortunately, the battery died on my microphone, so I wanted to kind of fill in a little here. Just putting our sauce on our wings here, give them a good shake, make sure that they're all nice and covered. And let's give them a taste. That, my friends, might be the perfect wing. We've got the smoke that we're looking for because we smoked for an hour and 15 minutes. But because we put it in the freezer for 20 minutes, we were able to get a full eight minutes in the deep fryer at 375 and get a nice, crispy, crunchy outside. Exactly what we're looking for in your traditional bar fried wing, but packed with smoke flavor. Don't think I could do any better. I'm gonna try, but let me tell you, if you like smoked chicken wings and you like them deep fried, give this a shot. Get yourself a deep fryer because I've done it once before. Pan frying, the deep fryer holds the temperature a lot better and you get a way better result. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, do so below. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you soon.